Welcome, I'm Dr. Taryn Lupo, and I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to use these solo cups to save some money getting your seedlings going. So, even though a lot of times you can use those plastic cells, you know, the black plastic trays and cells, it's a cheap way to start them, but when you want to upgrade them, some of the pots and, and um, stuff get kind of pricey, those little, when you want to get them to a larger size. And I found out that the cheapest way to go is just solo cups or a knockoff brand. But you use these red cups. And I'm going to show you a real fast way how to put holes in them. And we're going to use a series of two cups so you can have a little reservoir that you don't have to water so much. So let's cut to that. Let me show you some shortcuts on how to put the holes in. So this is a uh, way to make cheap planters. You've seen people like use solo cups. Uh, as planters and it is cheaper when you start getting into large sizes to just buy solos But the thing is is you want to make them self watering so you can like You know put holes in the bottom of one and then stick it in another to uh, protect your uh, Your plants from drowning, you know gives them a little drainage But poking holes through stacks of these things takes forever But I did find kind of a cheat and what you can do is you can line up a few cups at a time uh, with the bigger ones less cups maybe like four and then you can get a hot soldering iron and this will allow you to poke holes really quickly so let me switch hands here this thing is hot 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 now the only downside to this I would do it outside but it's snowing um, it's still really snowy let me see if I can get that out of the way and I gotta make sure I don't burn myself here hold on let's try it that way um, but what you do is you just poke through a few at a time. It's nice and hot. Two. Don't inhale the melting plastic smoke. I like to put a lot of drainage holes, but you don't have to. But if I poke through a few at the same time, this just saved a massive amount of time for making these. And what you want to do is make sure you separate them a little as they're drying so they don't, uh, they don't melt into each other, just the top layer. Then you can see the holes, they go all the way through the, to the last one. Oh, that one didn't do so well. So I guess with the larger cups, I can only do three, it looks like. Because when I was doing the smaller cups over here, the short cups, I could do up to five. So it looks like, you know, this is five and I could still get holes. It looks like you only want to do about three, but that'll save you a ton of time so you don't have to poke holes with a knife over and over and over. This is just a cheap soldering iron, costs five bucks at Walmart. It will choke you with smoke though, so be careful, and it's really hot and dangerous, so be careful doing this. Uh, but it, uh, for the time and convenience, it's so fast. Totally worth it. Now what you have is two cups. You have one without holes and one with holes. And what you do is you put a rock, right, here's your rock. Put a rock about, you know, a quarter of an inch, half inch in. And you put the other one on top of it. So you should have a little reservoir created that lets air and, and uh, water steam out if there's too much. And if you really want, you could punch holes on the sides of it so it can overflow when it hits that level. If you're trying to make sure the roots don't get too flooded, you can do that. But I find it's just easy sometimes to just, you know, when it rains, I just go out and dump the cup and it starts over. It's not a big deal. Um, a better choice than the plastic cups is free, right? So how we do that is we recycle. And you will get a large can. You'll get one big can. Uh, I like these bean cans. And then what you do is you put a rock on the bottom. And you get a smaller can. And you punch holes in the bottom. And the easiest way to do this is just use a nail. A nail and a hammer. Punch some holes in the bottom. And it might get a little rusty after a season or two. But you drop it in. And you get a real sturdy one that won't blow over in the wind or anything like that. And it's a great way to upcycle your cans. And then when you really, really get tired of them and they get too rusty, you can just go recycle them, throw them in. And honestly, I'm not even, you know, I'm not sure the rust uh, doesn't help the uh, soil anyway. A little iron in the soil is not going to hurt. So I'm a, a fan of using cans too, and they're free. I mean, you're going to throw them out anyway. So do something good and reuse that stuff. Anyway, if you have some tips on this, uh, cheap ways to do it. I've seen people do them like on eggshells, you know, they can start them in there. They're free, leftover eggshells, things like that. Uh, any tips you have, feel free to leave in the comments. 
and uh, just get growing. You know, it's not too late to start seedlings again uh, for the, your midsummer plants. So get to it. All right, as always, happy gardening and take a look at these videos here. I've got lots of videos on growing food and gardening tips. Let's check them out. Thanks so much for watching.